We caught an early afternoon flight from Amsterdam to Paris. It was a short flight. And we checked into the Georges Sank Hotel, which is on Georges Sank Boulevard in between Champs Elysees and the Seine. A uh, very nice hotel. We had a drink in the lobby bar, made sure that the rooms were up to Aiden's approval. And then we headed out to wander around Paris a bit. Uh, gone first to the Eiffel Tower, and then strolling along the Seine, gone over some of the uh, famous bridges along the Seine. It was a very nice afternoon. Now that's a little video. Oh. We are at the Place de la Concorde in Paris. Tuileries Gardens over there. Seine, of course. The next day, we found a little French bakery that we could get some great croissants at, and then we'd bring those over to Starbucks so Anna could get her soy latte fix. Then we headed out for some sightseeing. Aiden and Anna looking down the Champs Elysees. Place de la Concorde. Here at the Arc de Triomphe. Pretty impressive. You can see way off in the distance the modern arc. Arc de Triomphe. Donna's chagrin, there was a tour where you could climb up to the top of the Arc de Triomphe so she could get her acrophobia dose in for the day. Okay. Top of the Arc de Triomphe. Need needed. Looking down the Champs Elysees. We then jumped on the on again, off again, double decker bus to tour the rest of the city of Paris. And as corny as it sounds, it's actually a great way to see the city. And it was a beautiful day for touring. Here we are passing by the Moulin Rouge on our way to Montmartre and the Sacre-Cœur. Here at the fountains just below the You gotta tell us when you're taking video. Montmartre. Taking video, dude. Because we pose for a picture. Now we're gonna look silly in the beginning. It's hiding again. Then it was back on the bus for some more sightseeing, including a stop, of course, at uh, Notre Dame. And we headed back towards our hotel to have dinner at a nice brasserie on the Champs Elysees. Uh, but there was a little excitement. Mm, so we're here, sitting here on the Champs Elysees having a nice uh, chicken and french fries. There's a little rally going on over here with the Algerian soccer fans. They played the US in the World Cup today and unfortunately lost, but they seem pretty happy anyway, rooting for Algeria. But our waiter says, a lot of time there's trouble when Algeria plays. The fans get out of control, so we have our own um, personal detail of riot police standing out here. John Don. You can actually see them all over the uh, Champs Elysees. He wants me to include the unusual shape of the French fries on here. Nice. 
Paris is the city of light, so we went out in the evening to stroll around the streets and caught this cool light show at the Eiffel Tower. The next morning, we fortified ourselves at our little French bakery and then headed over to the Pompidou, which is sort of the MoMA of Paris. At the Pompidou, That evening we decided to have dinner at a restaurant called Procope in Saint Germain and we decided to take the metro back and got horribly lost in the tunnels of the metro. Fortunately, Aiden found a call box and was able to raise a station agent, otherwise we would have ended up like Charlie on the MTA, the, the family that never returned. Un enjoyed Paris so much she decided to start a new career as a spokesmodel for Louis Vuitton, where she is practicing for a new gig before we decided to call it a night.